you know I believe all that, right? I believe all that shit I say. walk up here and talk to this camera for a minute there's so many times through the day that I'll read something or I get an email or there's something that spurs something else and I'm like man we should do a little video on that that'd be a good video but I always forget to do the video or if I don't do it right then and I go to do it later it's just not the same I'm like ah, I'm over this so I think that goes back to like the the five second rule. Um, if you don't do it right then, the urgency, the intensity, uh, passion, desire, um, the genuine moment of it is just gone. So I print stuff all the time through um, night and uh, weekend and stuff, especially on the weekends, like when I'm out of town Saturday and Sunday and stuff. I print stuff out all the time and it uh, when I plug the computer in when I get back to the shop it just prints out and sits in the printer tray and uh, I'll go through it like I don't know Monday for instance I'll go through all those and I'll pull out all the orders and all the dudes asking about shit and stuff that I need to uh, take care of but there's always emails in there that are like hey man I watched your shit and I did a couple of these things and I changed my life. I like just completely flipped my life around and I'm doing these awesome things. And a lot of times, like I tell guys all the time, I'm like bullet points. If you wanna to talk to me, you wanna to talk to me, have a conversation with me, communicate with me, you gotta make it brief. If you wanna answer from me on something, ask just ask a question. I don't need all the filler. But people do real shit and it takes a lot of words. And I always kind of set those to the side. I'm like, maybe we'll read them on a video or something. And a lot of times they just pile up. And then I'll have piles this week, next week, next week on my desk. And that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm kind of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Been fucking running full speed. This morning, I did not want to get out of bed. And when I got in here, I just kind of piddled around and didn't want to work out. And... Uh, it was cold outside. It felt colder today than it did yesterday. And it was 34 degrees today and 14 degrees yesterday. So mental mindset, I don't know. I don't know what it was. So I made myself go to the gym because I knew that if I worked out here, I was gonna start working out and I was gonna have reasons not to work out. So did that, got it out of the way and that piece is done. I've already accomplished something. The big work has been done this week that needed to really been done, like the high energy shit. Like I worked out twice yesterday. Fucking Monday I worked out three times, like real legit workouts, hour of cardio every day in addition to those. So today I got some belts to cut, I got some stuff to do. I'm relinquishing a bunch of my stuff from my chain of custody to other people to put it in motion. And I'm finding a bunch of those emails that I've just kind of set aside to read later. And one of them in there spurred this right here. Dude said, uh, hey, I watched a video of yours. He sent me like this four or five paragraph thing and we'll read it, but um, not right now on video. And he said uh, something in there was, uh, I saw you tell a diesel mechanic a year or so ago who had turned his life around and was talking about saving for a house, he was gonna buy some of my product. And I told that dude, I said, don't buy any of my shit. You've gone this far without it. You've started your business, you've turned your life around, you're saving for a home, you're starting a family. Don't buy my stuff. Take that money, put it towards the down payment on your house. Come back later and buy my stuff. Do me a favor, if you wanna help me out, rather than doing business with me, to share some of my content. And what that spurred, and he's, and the dude said, that has stuck with me ever since. And that's why you won me over and I do business with you. And this is a name I recognize, the guy, I don't, I don't know who we're talking about, but the guy that sent the email said, you know, I'm your age, I see you getting up early in the morning 
and if you can do it I can do it and it's you know spurred me to do other things and what I thought was if I was gonna reply to that guy which I will it's you know I believe all that right I believe all that shit I say a lot of the stuff I say I heard somebody else say it came from somewhere else I heard you know Ed Milet say it and then as I listen to more and more content I hear stuff from the 60s where there's other dudes saying the same thing so Ed didn't make it up I didn't make it up who knows where it came from shit some of it's twisted from you know the Bible Proverbs whatever parables um, but what it comes down to is I believe that shit like every bit of it I don't have to convince myself of it I don't have to keep repeating it it's not a lie that you tell enough times and it becomes true like I believe all of that stuff and I got friends that'll be around me or something and you know dudes will show up here fucking super early in the morning they'll get in here before any other employees somebody will come see me or something and they'll be like dude you look like you've been up hours like you're like you you look like it's noon to you I go yeah because I've been up five fucking hours before I saw another fucking soul that's why because I got up I've already worked out twice I've already fucking had two meals I've already done all of the fucking work and everything I need to do for the whole entire fucking day if I walked out of the building and didn't work another minute today I've already accomplished more work than most people you've ever met and it makes me think that they are not 100% invested in the things I say and the things we say to you. Almost like they didn't even believe it. And that makes me say, you know I believe all that shit, right? Like I mean all of that. That's all real shit. When I talk about getting up in the morning and fucking working out twice and doing all your emails and pick three things in five seconds, like all those things we say over and over, we mean all that shit that's all real shit you don't have to do all of them right away pick one work on it when it becomes a habit pick two just pick three things three things when you wake up today three things that you need to get done whether it's at work or business fucking home whatever it is three things right pick three things and that doesn't include like I need to eat lunch I need to eat breakfast I need to work out three things that you need to accomplish today and just do them new patch sticker hat shirt design whatever that's one thing it's not answered the normal stuff you do every day that's not one of those things just pick one thing and then a second and then a third and do that shit and the one you want to do least That's usually the most piddly little shit there is. It's usually one of the easier fucking things. Do it and get it done with. Once you do those three things, you're ahead of fucking most people you're going to come in contact with. Just remember, I believe that shit. So fucking just just act on it. Just fucking pick one up and fucking get it done.